The D1 and D1 Lite give every shop owner and DIYer the power to diagnose and fix any problems with their vehicle. In this video, I'm going to give you an overview of the tablet's basic functions and how they work. The D1 and D1 Lite offer distinct diagnostic capabilities, so it's important to understand the differences between the two so you can choose the right tablet solution for your needs. The D1 Lite offers basic all system scan functions and access to these freeze frame and live data, while the D1 offers all that plus bi-directional control capability such as active testing and special functions. The D1 can also perform module adaptation and coding on vehicles like Volkswagen and Audi. Let's look at the D1 in action. First, connect the V1 VCI to the vehicle and establish communication between the vehicle and the tablet. This diagnostic connection is often known as the OBD2 port and is usually found near the steering column on all vehicles 1996 and newer. Turn the ignition on and pair the tablet with the V1 via Bluetooth if not already done so. Next, tap the vehicle diagnostics icon on the home screen. You're now ready to perform any diagnostic function with your D1 tablet. So let's ID the vehicle. This can be done via the tablet's auto VIN function, or you can do so manually. Select Diagnosis and run your scan. Our scan comes up with quite a few fault codes. We can view each individual code by tapping the arrow on the right. Since we know there is a code but not sure of the specifics, let's tap Trouble Codes. Here we can see our code. Tapping Erase Codes will erase all codes in this module. Viewing live data in a graph form helps you visualize the data. Select some parameters that have values and tap Graph Merge to view them on a graph. My name is Mike and I hope you found this video useful for navigating the D1 and D1 Lite tablets. If you have any more questions about how to use the service or cloud features, check out our other videos on the Autofix YouTube channel. Thank you.